Hey folks, welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're up at Viking Bay Resort on Lake Miltona. We're chasing muskies. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Hey, 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 John Gillespie! Big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing. How do you guys? Oh awesome. my God. Yes, folks, we're on Lake Miltona in Miltona, Minnesota, and we've got our buddy Dave Williamson, who we do this trip with annually, and my buddy <laughs> Pete Mena. And I, I think you guys are a little bit crazy, you know? Late September, early October, great time to fish for muskies. But on the drive here from Wisconsin, I saw the temperature drop some 23 degrees, and you were gleeful. You liked that. Oh, I don't know if I was gleeful, but yeah, it's nice and cool, John. I enjoy cool. The muskies like cool, generally. And I was talking to Dave before, what happens with the cool nights and the cold fronts is, is the fish pattern changes, right? Yeah, they tend to move a little shallower up on top of some shallow flats, and uh, you can catch them on fun baits, like fast moving bucktails, topwaters, you know, you get a lot of action. Even when it's like 58 degrees like this and windy top water, you guys? Oh, yeah. Seriously, Oh, babe? yeah. It can definitely happen. Well, you know that, John. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to see. I mean, a drastic temperature drop might not be good, but it's what we're dealing with right now. But it should be a shallower movement overall, and we should have a good shot. There's muskies in here. I expect you to catch one. I hope so. I didn't catch one last time we fished. We're going to have fun. We'll show you what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. It's time to save big. During the Yamaha Let's Ride sales event. With as low as 2.99 APR for 36 months on every single Yamaha motorcycle, ATV, and side-by-side. -side. Plus, amazing customer cash offers. See your local Yamaha dealer for huge savings. Then, let's ride. What's really interesting, folks, about running a camp in the sticks or in the bushes, you guys call it up here, you need to rely on your machines, boats, trucks, everything. And you're a firm believer in AMSOIL? I wouldn't get anything else. I, we've run that product for the last four and a half years, and what a difference on our equipment. And you got to remember, John, the boats, the motors, our trucks, they're not just running two days a week. They're running seven days a week full out high performance and with that new quick shot I love throwing that in our fuel the oil no breakdown best product by far How did you think this boat handled big water on Lake Superior? Oh, it handled it amazing. I mean, we had two to three footers at times, and you just glided right over the top of them. You wouldn't even feel the bumps. It, you could have swore it was dead calm out there. What did you think about having that many people in the boat and the fishability? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, everybody can spread out. You can have a couple in the front, a few people in the back. Uh, nobody's worrying about hooking each other and uh, everybody has their own space and you got plenty of space for uh, your fishing equipment. What do you think of the flooring? I love the flooring. Um, it's easy to fish out, it's easy on your feet. We have fish slime a lot, especially when we're catching pike. It's easy to clean, that's what I love most about it. Well, on Lake Miltona in Miltona, Minnesota, as soon as we hit the water, the rain starts. Exactly, timing. Now, do the fish bite in? This is kind of a lighting up rain. We should be bite. fine. Yeah, and I'm going to start out with, I guess, I got my old surface bait on there, a globe, which I like. And what are you starting with today? Uh, big bucktail. Big bucktail. And uh, we got wind, too, don't we, buddy? Oh, yeah. That'll be fine, though. Hey, Pete, what are you going to start out with, then? And are we fishing weeds or rocks to start? 
This new, uh, this new Livingston soft plastic here, paddle tail, something a little bit different. I'll also be trying the Jerk Master because you guys are running the top water and a bucktail. Always good to use. Of course, we always want to use different baits. And we're starting off here on actually weeds and rocks. There's weeds on the edge of the structure and then a few rocks too that uh, Dave thinks we ought to try. So right now the patterning process begins. We try and figure out what lures are going to bite and rocks or weeds and depth all of those things. Well, our first bite of the day, what does Pete have on? I have a, uh, a spinning pike. Oh, there he is. The incredible right. North American spinning pike. Yeah, and you know, I've asked you this many times over the years, when you when you see that the small pike, that's not a good sign for the spot? No, I don't know. Generally, it's not. Real small ones aren't good. If you get a big one, little different ball game. Hey, David, David, you're hooked up, buddy. Oh, it's a pike, isn't it? Is it? No, small wait. guy, small guy? Small guy. Oh, well, you got me excited there for a minute. The wind yeah, is blowing. Yeah, snake the pike. And let's see, you can do the flip in with that guy. <laughs> Well, no, you're just gonna, that, that's, that's a good way to try to get him off the hook there. But I'll tell you what, folks, the temperature is plummeting and Pete is enjoying uh, keeping the boat on the contour in this heavy wind. Isn't he doing a good job? Yep, yep, it's tough out here. Nice pike. I thought it was bigger. It hit hard. The lure is just as big as the pike. Well, in the wind, in the clouds, in the rain, they did not bite. No, they didn't. Now, tomorrow, we got uh, second day of the cold front, high blue skies, and you're telling me this can be good? Could be good on this lake. A little deeper weed line, I think the visibility is a little better with the sun popping its head out. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out this deal. Save 44% on the Star Bright 8 ounce StarTron Enzyme Fuel Treatment. On sale, two for $10. Well, day two of our musky adventure on Lake Miltona. And, and Dave, you know, we talked about it last night. The weatherman was right. I got up this morning, a little crisp in the air and uh, high blue skies. And you say we can do well out here in these conditions. Yep, some of my best days have been clear skies like this out here. And what amazes me is how clear the water is here and still they'll bite in these sunny yeah, conditions. I think with the deeper weed lines, the visibility gets a little better with the sun out. So you, they can see your lure from the greater distance away that sounds good and pete one thing i wanted to ask you buddy is when do you start using suckers is it a water temperature deal or uh, uh time of year or what yeah basically the first cold front when we get into the 60 degree range they can start working everything's arguable it depends this time of the year they'll still move really good on lures if i get uh, we're trying one today because it's a cold front but if we get out and they seem to be really active on lures we may actually get rid of the sucker, cover more water efficiently because the sucker slows you down. If it remains real tough, we'll leave the sucker out and just kind of see what happens. Hey, that was about your 10th cast of the day. It's not a muskie, is it? No, I think it's a pike, a little spinner. Well, that's not bad. Hey, it's a fish, right? Lift them up there so the folks can see. There we go. Northern pikey. There you go. Boy, they are fat souls here, though. Yeah. Even that little guy. All right, well, hey. No, Dave, that's uh, seriously on these high days, these high blue sky days, man, all you got to do is keep working, right? And you say they run in packs, the muskies. Huh? Yep, yep. If we can find them, we can kind of sit on them for a little bit. Hey, here we go. What do we got? Uh, top water. Yeah, on the top water bait. All right. All right. All right, guys, let's see what we got. Does it feel yeah, decent, Yeah, I got to get some room here. I got to okay. get some room. Yeah, I'll room. get out of the way. Got to come. I got to come. Got to come. Got to come. Okay, go to the back of the boat, go to the back of the boat. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah. That's that. what we're looking for. Oh, geez, Yay, don't way to go, guys. No, very good. I <laughs> know. Boy, he is feisty. Yeah, he is. He's not hooked, he's just hooked to that one hook. Just hooked in one hook, Dave? Yeah, so I don't want right. to force him in. Yeah, right. take it easy. He's and just gonna fight. Ooh. And Boy, is that fish fighting, Pete, huh? He got sure him, got is. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Way to go, buddy. I didn't want to horse him. He just had one hook in the tip of the mouth. Oh, gosh. He was actually going nowhere, dude. Was he? Hey, nah. one thing I got to ask you, Dave. Seriously, buddy. I got to check my watch right here. It is 1030. 
bright sunny day and you're throwing a surface bait. Yeah, we're weird here in Minnesota. You know, they just bite in the middle of the day on top waters. No, but you get a second day of a cold front, these fish are kind of getting up in the sand, get a little warmed on their back, and you know, you can catch them all day long. Well, everything I was ever taught about musky fishing over the years was the second day of a cold front, high blue skies, you better stay home. Well, we got one, let's get another one. How big is that, Pete? That's, that's probably 40, actually. Yeah. Very pretty fish. Yeah. Nice and clean. Not yeah. a lot of scars. Now they are just gorgeous Let's out of see, here. see, can I even, yeah, there we go. <laughs> hey, Dave, nice job, buddy. Congratulations. Well, nicely done, that yeah. was cool to see. Yep, let her right, go there. Get her back in and. Hey, congratulations, yeah, you, thanks, you, broke, you broke the spell there, buddy. No, <laughs> but we, we were talking about the surface bait deal and usually in October over in Wisconsin, man, they're put away for the year, but you've caught them how late in the season? All the way up until ice up. No kidding. Yep. Yeah, they feed on coots in November will come in. And so a lot of times they're sitting up in four or five feet of water. So you're dra dragging live bait and have a guy casting up in the shallows with the top water. And that is interesting. So if, if you don't know what a coot is, it's it's a duck, right? Yeah, a little black bird. And they actually, have you seen them? Oh yeah, them? we'll take pictures and they'll be, uh, the feathers will be coming out when we're taking the pictures. So. Oh wow, that's cool. <laughs> well, let's get another one, buddy. All right. We were fishing Lake Miltona in Miltona, Minnesota. A seven and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, eight and a half hours from Chicago, and two and a half hours from Minneapolis. Eagle Claw is the only hook made right here in the USA. And they also make this new EC 2.5 bait casting combo. This combo is fast action, lightweight, and is built to stand up to long-term use. If you want to know how the best anglers always seem to find fish, stay on fish, and be in the right place at the right time, don't ask them. Just look at the name on the side of their boat. The one that's built 10 million motors, shallow water anchors, and more. No angler's going to tell you their secrets, but they don't have to, because you already know. Minn Kota, fish for more. The first thing that we're gonna do today is attack panfish in the basin of a lake. Just gives it a little extra flavor or smell. Fishing jumbo perch in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. It's a night and day difference putting the bait mate on. Bait mate does work, doesn't it? It does. Catch more fish all year long with Baitmate Fish Attractive. Check it out at baitmate.com. Hey, here we go, here we go. Is that a pike or a muskie? Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Well, at least I'm on the board, right? You know what? That is a perfect eating size pike, you know? Take that Y bone out, you're good to go. Yeah, you get five sides. Five sides. One fish, five sides. Makes sense, perfect sense. What's going on, Dave? Oh, he missed it. Oh, there he is, there he is. There he's back, he's back, he's back. Come on. He made a move on it, though? Oh, yeah, I thought he grabbed it, and I sat back on him, and... I didn't see him, decent-sized fish? No, little guy. Well, as they say, maybe our window's opening. Well, should be that time. No, but he did make a move on it. He huh? did, he went around a couple times. Ooh, okay, Mr. buddy. Mister. Maybe they're putting those feed bags on. <laughs> Coming pretty good. He's looking again. Ooh. Well, it's been a few hours, buddy, since we've, but we've had two, a bite and a follow in what, the last five minutes? Yeah, yeah. So that's good news. Was he coming pretty good? Yeah, he came in pretty fast. It was weird, and then he just died on the eight for whatever reason, and then made one more swoop back up. Not huge, but a 41, 42. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 
2021 fishing contest. Gary Tude of Bloomingdale, Illinois, caught this 46-inch flathead on the Fox River on tube bait. Austin Meisner of Hudson, Illinois, caught this 45-inch flathead on Lake Bloomington on a bomber. Dave Dembeck of Wheaton, Illinois, boated this 23-inch smallmouth in Vilas County on a MEPS number 4. Greg Warfield of Savage, Minnesota, caught this 20-inch white bass on Pryor Lake on a Berkeley Cutter. And this week's Kids Winners are Colton Mortensen of Pewaukee caught this 46-inch muskie on Pewaukee Lake on his birthday on a DT-20. And Cole Brescia of Lockport, Illinois caught this 22-inch bass on Sand Lake on a spinner. Each week, I shop online at FleetFarm.com to check out the latest deals. This week, save $20 on the Wildlife Research Center Ultimate Dripper Combo Kit on sale for $24.99. And when you buy an Outdoor Edge Game Pro Butcher Kit for $74.99, you get a free $15 Fleet Farm gift card. I'll tell you what, folks, it doesn't look like this wind is going to lay down anytime soon. But Pete, when you're working structure, into the wind is the way to go, right? That's the only way you can really control the boat. Yeah, it's a lot easier, John. Well, I guess nothing's easy about it. It's not that much fun, but if you're trying to move with it, you just get out of control with these gusts. And, and then if you do hook a fish, you can get in real trouble. At least now, we've got a little more control. If somebody does hook up with one, I can click on spot lock and we should be able to, you know, land the fish relatively easily compared to wild drifting. Now, normally, uh, is the wind swept side of the lake the best to hold fish? That's something you pattern. In a lot of cases, uh, it is the pattern, but there's times you want to check calm as well. The old theory that they're always on the windy side is not necessarily true, but you definitely want to try it. If you're cooking with this and you don't see that, then it's not Johnsonville. And your family will taste the difference when they dig into this. Johnsonville makes its smoked sausage with 100% premium pork. And no fillers. Ever. So the next time you make this or that, be sure you're serving 100% premium pork. Johnsonville Smoked Sausage. It tastes better because it's made better. Hey folks, some tasting news for you. When you purchase any Johnsonville Rope Sausage, you can get up to $6 back. Text ROPE to 64827 for more information. This offer is valid from September 9th to November 7th. Kalen's Pendu Jig features a patented free swinging hook. This feature gives any soft plastic or live bait an added action no fish has ever seen. As you jig it, swim it, the free swinging hook moves up and down, giving your bait or lure an unpredictable action. This jig also makes your live bait or plastic stand up when you pause it, imitating a feeding bait fish on the bottom that entices more bites. The Pendu Jig comes alive. Kalen's Pendu Jig is available in four sizes and 12 colors. So I noticed you're wearing blackfish just like me. Yes. What do you like about the blackfish gear? Well, I'm on the water 200 yeah. days a year easy, and I hate putting sunscreen on all the time. Me too. <laughs> with the UPF protection of the blackfish gear, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't have to screw around with the, the sunscreen or mm -hmm. anything like that. I'm protected all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about skin cancer or anything else that us fishing guides get. It, and it probably keeps you cool all day long. It does. It, yeah. You know, it's just a very nice, cool feeling. And guess what? It's chemical free. So as many times as you walk wash it, you will still get protected. For more information, go to blackfishgear.com. There we go, we got one coming, got one going. Don't move, don't move, don't move. That's a nice fish. Don't move, oh, oh, come on. Don't move, don't move, don't move. God dang it. Darn it. I thought he was going to do it. He was right on that, man. Yeah, he just... And I, when he made that turn, I thought, there you go. It's hard you know? to get him next to the boat on top water. Yeah. Wow. You got a fish going? Yeah. I'm a sucker, finally. We've been dragging that around all day, haven't we, Dave? We oh, certainly yeah. have. Okay, what do you want us to do? Dave, you want to go back and set it or Pete? Or oh, what? Pete, I'll net it. Okay. Well, somebody's got to back the boat up to it. Somebody's got to back the boat up to it. You want us to back up to it, Pete? Well, look. Yeah, you got him, Pete. Nice hook, I think Pete. I'll just Way to go there, Pete. Good job, buddy. I'll tell you oh. what, we're just going to back up the boat to that fish. 
feel pretty good, Pete. Yeah, nobody's oh, yes, nobody yes, was yes, doing yes, anything, yes. so I thought All I right, would. All right, buddy. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, man. I don't know that yet. That has been behind the boat all day. Pete's been working them. Oh, oh yeah. You turn that engine off, Pete. Oh. Oh, oh yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, turn that off. Okay, I'm sick of it, hearing buddy. that. I got it. I got it. All right, let's see what we got here, man. That was interesting because we, uh, we were joking around there. The sucker hasn't done anything. Nothing. And it, it just barely click, 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 click. Oh, here we go, guys. Oh, ah. look at that muskie! Did you see that muskie, Pete? No, nope, I didn't see him. He jumped right out of the water, buddy. It's a beautiful fish, man. It's what? a gorgeous muskie. He is a fighter, right. I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, man. That was so cool, that jump. Look at that fish, folks. That is a big muscalunjo, man. Okay. He is a jumper. Okay, right, Dave, I think we're... In the... Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, buddy, i tell you what, there was a minute of indecisiveness there, wasn't there, to back up on that fish? Well, yeah, I was, I actually was thinking one of you guys would do it, but then I could tell he was moving away, and I thought, we're not going to mess around Well, we got to look at the replay of that hook set. That was kind of an over-the-shoulder hook <laughs> set there, huh? <laughs> My balance ain't the greatest anymore, oh, I guess. Good That's job, kind of though, funny. buddy. And, uh, you know, it is unbelievable, folks. We've been dragging that sucker for seven hours today and a few hours last night, and finally it paid off, didn't it, Dave? Oh, uh, it's about time. No, is it a good idea? Now, starting the rest of October, that's the, the important to have suckers. Yeah, it's predominantly suckers then, John. You know, you have one guy casting and drag two or three suckers, and... Yeah, but it was worth doing it. We got a nice fish. Oh, Pete, that is a beautiful fish, buddy. Yeah. How'd you like the jump he did? Two gorgeous jumps. Yeah. I mean, that was just awesome. Well, I'll tell you what, pays to drag that sucker all day, and, and in the wind, you had a lot, that was a lot of work, too. Yeah, a lot to do. I won't mention the name of the sucker. No, we could beep it out if you did, but uh, he's just an adjective, right? Right, exactly, no, exactly. Nice job, though, but seriously, to drag a sucker and fish the different types of water that we're doing, shallow and deep, requires a lot of work, especially in wind. It is a lot of work, and, and sometimes I think the reason you don't do as well on a windy day like this is a lot of times you're actually moving too fast. You know, you get a gust of wind and the sucker's up on the surface, and we're in a little bit calmer spot here right now. That might have something to do with it, but it was very nice to well, see that sucker get eaten. One thing I want to talk about, too, is what we've been running on suckers the last several years. You, Danny, and Steve Herbeck is these Livingston Sound Bullets. This is a bobber rig here and uh, I just run it on the line right above the uh, snap and the leader. And that's electronic bait sounds and that, that makes the sound of a bait fish in distress? Yeah, absolutely. Now, it's kind of interesting. Most of us, when we first started that, you know, in Wisconsin, we can use two lines and we would try both. And pretty much everyone is going all sound bullet now. That definitely pulls them in. I would say it does not make them bite but I do think that sound pulls them in from farther. You get more looks, you're probably going to get more hits, right? You know, a lot of funny things happen in between fish on our show. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I feel like we just did a Bill Dance episode. Well, you know what? <laughs> Nobody ever gets to see our follies or our bloopers. So I want to explain to the folks what happened. Uh, you know, we've been working that sucker all day, and, and you so nicely volunteered to go in the back of the boat and <laughs> reel that in for Pete, and, right? Is yeah, that yeah, that's how I recall it. Yeah, yeah, all right, now let's look what happened when he did that. <laughs> No bait cycle. That was quite a tumble. It, it hurt. Yeah, well, hey, yeah, show the folks yeah. what happened on your leg down here. Yeah. You actually got a pretty big bruiser deal uh, right there, buddy. Yeah. But you know what? I'm so proud of you for helping out Pete, you know? <laughs> and, and you suffered. You know, you just don't want to go in another man's office sometimes. Yeah, you well, just don't get... know how it's organized back there. Hey, Good job, John. I got one, Pete. I got one, Pete. Good beat. job, buddy. I got one, Pete. I got one, buddy. I got, got one, man. It's not real big, but I think it's a muskie. Oh, what do oh. we got here? Oh, no. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Boo. 
the Pikeaboo. Ooh. We thought finally. You've had a lot of action on that bait today, though. I'm sad. I thought it was going to be a muskie. <laughs> Oh, look at That's that. That's a little big to be hoisting. Well, look at him, though. That's not a bad <laughs> fish. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Dave, get up there and help him yeah. before he breaks something. For more information on fishing muskies on Lake Miltona, call Viking Bay Resort and Lodge. That number is 218 943 2104. 943 2104. I use our Johnson Pump Washdown Kit to clean up after my messy dad. What'd you say, Blake? Oh, dad. I use my Johnson Pump Washdown Kit to clean my dock and my pontoon. I use my Johnson Pump to get the boat ready for tomorrow's clients. Learn about the many uses of the Johnson Pump Washdown at GetJohnsonPumped.com. Well, it's our last day of muskie fishing here, and you're going to start the day like we ended it with another pike, huh? Pike! Hey, pike! Oh, did he Ooh. eat that? We'll lift him out a little bit <laughs> so the folks can see. Well, hey, we'd had some good eating, you know, the last couple of oh, days. Oh, yeah. A few of those pike, you know. Yeah, this one's a nice one. Well, our last day, no wind today, buddy. High blue skies, right? Yep. And that's good. Uh, that is good up here. I don't know what I got here, Pete. I don't know, boy. You sure whacked that surface bait. I don't think it's big. I think it's a bass. Do you really? Just well, guessing the way it was. Boy, did he wallop that yeah, bait, huh? Had. Yeah, it is a bass. Look at that, guys. It kind of oh, acted like a bass. Go. Yeah, there's huge smallies in here. Look at that, Dave. Walking boss bass. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there. Look at that. Boy, did he, did you hear the splash, Pete? I sure did. I mean, he crushed that thing, man. <laughs> what do you got now? <laughs> we're bass oh, fishing we're today. bass fishing. Species. Look at this down here, folks. <laughs> That's not a bad largemouth. You know hey. that? But you know what? I, I forgot to tell you, we are doing what we call a musky show. <laughs> and let me see if <laughs> he's twirling around it. That's a nice fish, buddy. Yep. Look at that. Look at the size of oh, that. Oh, they're healthy. You know, when you get up here in, in this area, the lakes not only have muskies, which we're trying for. There's some pretty good other species, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Some of the best walleye fishing in uh, this part of the state. It oh, is a it bass. Is a bass. Oh. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Pete the bass angler. <laughs> he just All shook. All right, way to go, Pete. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, we got to tell the folks, we have not seen a muskie yet today, have we, buddy? We have not, but it's kind of funny. Everything else is biting. Yeah, but those bass are solid built fish. Hold that up. Look at that. All Grab right. that Livingston flipper. So come flipper. to Viking Bay Lodge here on, uh, <laughs> on, on the, you know, and get some bass, right? Bass anglers, come on here. They got them. Hey, thank you, Dave. We yeah, really had thanks, a good John. time, buddy. And again, folks want to come up here. That Viking Bay Resort is perfect for fishermen. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. great people. Well, hey, thank you. I'll see you next year, all right? Yeah. All right? Thanks, John. All right, buddy. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish yet. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie. Hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey.